and um, welcome to another video. So what I'm going to do today is see what it's like to still use Unity on Ubuntu in 2019. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the minimal installation ISO for Bionic Beaver 18.04. I've already downloaded it. And then we're just going to open up a virtual box and install it that way. You can install it onto a USB and do it natively if you like. Oh, open up two there. Let's close one of them. Right, so I'll just walk you through the installation process. I'll um, sort of pause the video here and there as it downloads packages and things. <clears throat> right, so just sort of choose your language. United Kingdom for me. Uh, no there, and then just enter, enter. Detecting your yeah, internet local address. I'm sure most of you have done this installation before. <laughs> right, host name. I'm just going to leave it as Ubuntu. I'm going to leave that blank. It's just got to load the additional components to get the installer going and things. Right, here you're going to enter your name, username, and then your password, and you'll have to just confirm it. Yes, time zone's correct. Right, so you can do what you want here. I'm going to go to manual, create a new partition table, and then what we're going to do is create, um, just create some swap quickly, just so I know what's left over. Don't really care. Uh, swap area. Usually I'd keep my um, home partition separate, but because this is just a quick sort of installation on the virtual machine, I'm going to have just one on root, which is pretty much the default for Ubuntu anyway. So we got two gig swap, and then the rest is all to the root partition. Yes. Right, here I'm going to fast forward until we get to the next part okay if all went according to plan you should have arrived here so I don't want no automatic updates so I shall leave it as that Okay, you should now have arrived at this screen where you select software, or in our case, you don't. So we don't want to select anything here, so all of that, we want none of it. I'm just going to go to continue, and then let this run its course, and then we'll reboot at the end of it. Right now, it's just going to install Grub. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's just for your hardware clock. Installation is complete. Blah 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 blah. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into your new system rather than in restarting the installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go continue, and I'm just going to close this because VirtualBox doesn't properly eject the disk or anything. So we go back to settings, storage, mini ISO, and we'll just get rid of that. 
It does for most discs, but just not for the, the mini installation ones, it seems. Okay. Alright, so once your computer's restarted. Okay, so once your computer's restarted, you'll arrive at a TTYL. So you've just got to log in with your user and password that you created in the installation. Okay. Do a quick update. All right, while well, it's doing that, let's just get out of full screen for a moment. All packages are up to date because we don't really have a lot. Right, so there's a couple of ways of doing this. We can just install it straight as it was left um, with no sort of updates to it, or we can install this PPA where it's been maintained by sort of the community here so we're going to go for this one before we do that you've got to install software properties common otherwise it won't let you add the repository so we just select that copy go back to virtual box wrong window let's just close that window and that won't happen again bang okay so if we just copy that in obviously you won't be able to silly me it's a virtual machine Type that right. There we go. <laughs> so we'll just get the packages you need, so then we can add the repository afterwards. Okay. Now we need to go sudo add apt repository. <laughs> Um, PPA colon unity seven slash no sorry no slash maintainers slash unity seven hyphen desktop. Right, let's just make sure we've done that right. Sudo add that repository PPA unity seven maintainers slash unity seven desktop. So center that. Done. So now if we update it again, should have updated it anyway when you added it, but just in case. And now we shall install the Ubuntu Unity desktop. sudo apt install rdoer-y so I don't have to do the y prompt. It just assumes yes and goes straight forward. Um, Ubuntu Unity Desktop, and then we'll enter that. Right, this might take some time, so again, I'll um, leave it doing what it's doing, and I'll come back. Okay, so we're at around the 85% mark. Um, I thought I'd just start up here, here again, just to sort of talk about why I chose to do it with the minimal. ISO instead of sort of well I've seen some other people installing it over like a mate or a just a standard Ubuntu release and it's just because you've got so many other packages there I've just this seems like the most lightweight way of doing it um, it takes a bit longer obviously you've got to pull all these packages down but I think you get a nicer product at the end of it all right we are finally at 99% um, there we go. So what we're going to do now is just type in reboot. Uh, I'm going to just get into full screen before I do that. Okay. So hopefully we should be greeted with the Unity desktop. There we are. So let's just type in our password. And as you can see at the bottom there, been to 18.04 long term. So there we are, we've got Unity on 18.04. Uh, <laughs> this is running on a virtual box, don't forget. 
Okay, so here we are. The old familiar Unity. So if we just open up a terminal. First off, let's run HTOP. Hasn't got HTOP. <coughs> right. I'm going to update it, then reboot actually. And I'm going to upgrade. Right, I'll um, come back when that's done, once I've rebooted, and we'll see how much we, how memory we're using at the start up. Right, enter our password once more. <clears throat> right, let's pop open terminal. H top. So we are using 602. Oh, now you guys bump right down to 595. I think that's going to be pretty much the standard until we start opening things up. Um, I don't like sort of the default theming and icons. Never really did out of the box for Unity. Um, let's just install Arc Theme and Mocha. While we take a little look around. So this was Unity's pride and joy, this little thing up here. So you can search for anything, files, whatever. And also inside of programs you could, I don't know if you can do it for settings, but you could press Alt, I do believe it was Alt, and then you could search for individual settings inside those programs. Um, going into a bit of a lag here, but that's the virtual machine's fault, not Unity's. Um, can you do it on here? So, let's just type in mouse. Any day now. <laughs> there you go, and it will just bring up a few options here. Um, I think they're just the Windows actions, because yeah, let's ask an actual program up. Not just settings. We'll let it run this. Uh, this is this is sort of yeah. Hang on. <clears throat> Does it calm down a bit now? No. Right. What I'm going to do is let it do this, and then I'll come back to it. I might also install the. Um, guest editions, whatever it's called. I don't think I have. It's probably why it's running a bit sluggish as well. Back, so off camera I installed the guest editions for VirtualBox and just a few programs just to show you around a bit. So let's open up OpenShot. <clears throat> if you haven't used OpenShot, it's just a quite a simple video editor. So if you was to press Alt, and then just type anything like title and then hit enter it'll pull up exactly what you're looking for there so if you couldn't quite find it if you know what it's called but you don't know where it is in the menus it really comes in handy so you know it works for anything so if you open up Caden Live just close this one here just get settings up um, System settings is Unity's one, I do believe. Yeah. Right, so if you're going to um, settings, this here. No, I want tweak. I want to remove. I want to move the um, <coughs> the buttons at the top to the left of a window. To the right, sorry. So if we just go to. It's going to be Windows or something, isn't it? Um, general. So there's your snappings and your hot corners and things like that as well. Um, what's going on here? Oh, 
sure that used to be able to do that. Going on here, is it because I didn't install VRC like it said earlier? Let's just move that there. I wonder if installing GNOME Tweak Tool will let me do that. Let's have a look. It just feels a bit unnatural for me to have it to the left there. There we go. Right. Boom. <laughs> okay, let's close all of these. So if we open that again, will that work? No, it's only going to be select or known programs, isn't it? Um, anyway, so back to what we was doing. So, yep, yeah, hit Alt. Type in, I don't know, audio. Again, split audio, waveform time. So if we hit that, select a clip. If you, oh, we haven't got any clips selected. So let's try add title clip. Boom, it just jumps up straight there. Right, so that's Unity. Um, if you've never used it, I definitely recommend just you know spinning it up and giving it a go, even just in a virtual machine like today. Um, I'll leave a link in the descriptions with the commands I used. Uh, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.